What's up guys? It's Doug the Dog Guy, owner and founder of Bad to the Bone Pet Care. And I am currently at a rest stop off of the interstate on the uh, eastern side of Boise, Idaho. I've got uh, Tom and Ollie here with me. And I'm about to walk uh, the third dog that I'm transporting, uh, Gunner, uh, after uh, I finish walking these guys. We've been on the road for a few hours this morning. Uh, I picked these guys up in Portland, Oregon yesterday after flying there from Florida. And then we drove a few hours to Pendleton, Oregon, where we spent last night. And then today we're hoping, in, hoping to make it to around uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, and the goal is to have these guys delivered in Virginia by the end of the day, Sunday. It might be Monday, uh, depending on how the trip goes. But it's off to a good start. Are you ready for breakfast? Are you guys ready for breakfast? Yes. All right. Gunner, are you a good boy? Is he a good boy? Yes, he is. We got a rainy morning here at the Red Lion Inn in Pendleton, Oregon. What's up, guys? Gunner, what's up, buddy? What's up? You enjoying life on the road so far? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a long couple days ahead of us, but uh, these guys are doing really well in the car. Um, you know, you guys know that I am a full-time professional pet sitter and dog walker in Florida, but uh, if you've been following along with my videos or on Facebook, you know that I also do uh, traveling pet care all over the world, as well as nationwide pet transportation. And uh, I was actually in Germany pet sitting there just last week and only had 36 hours in Florida at home uh, before having to fly to Oregon to transport these guys to Virginia. Uh, and I have several more uh, traveling gigs and nationwide pet transport gigs coming up this summer. So you guys are gonna see a good bit of this content coming up. Today I'm kind of making a day in the life video, uh, but let me know uh, what you guys want me to talk about and go over as far as these types of uh, specialty services. All right, we are currently at a Love's truck stop outside of Bliss, Idaho. And uh, out of all the nationwide pet transportation gigs I've done over the last few years, uh, one of my biggest recommendations to people that are traveling with pets or uh, looking to do pet transportation, anything like this, is to stop at Love's truck stops. Um, I don't know if you can see, but over there, over there, where, over there, they have a big fenced in uh, dog park area. Unfortunately, I cannot go in there right now because there's another dog in there and Gunner here does not like um, other dogs. But uh, those fenced in dog park areas can make a world of difference while you're on the road for uh, long hours at a time with dogs. And Love's truck stops are generally pretty clean and they have a pretty good food selection too. And speaking of food, uh, when you're on the road long hours for days on end doing these uh, nationwide pet transportation gigs or, or traveling with your own pets, I definitely recommend eating as healthily as possible. Uh, so I just stopped at this Love's truck stop and I got me a thing of grapes uh, for lunch and some coffee. And uh, the cleaner and healthier you eat, the more energy you're gonna have, and the more energy you're gonna have, the more that you can do with the dogs uh, while you're traveling, and the longer hours that you can drive. So it all goes hand in hand. We're stopped in Little America, Wyoming right now uh, to feed the dogs dinner. And I just took them on a nice walk through this park area. And I'm gonna get my room booked for tonight. I always wait until the last minute to book rooms uh, 
A, because you can usually get last minute uh, booking deals and B, because you never know how a day is gonna go on the road. And some days go smoother than others. And uh, like this morning, I thought I was gonna make it all the way to Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I am not going to make it that far. I think I'm gonna try to book a room in Rollins. Um, we stopped a couple hours ago in Ogden, Utah, and uh, Tom, uh, one of the chihuahuas here, actually attacked me. Um, I got some pretty good bites on both of my hands. Um, he, he's, he's a rescue chihuahua, and I knew before flying across the country to drive these guys across the country that they were rescues and that Tom was timid. But um, I did not realize that he was aggressive. The client did not tell me that. Uh, they just said that he was timid and that he was a rescue. And um, that's a risk that you take when you do these uh, traveling gigs for clients that you don't uh, previously know. That is an inherent risk that you take. And I could tell as soon as I arrived at their house yesterday that it, it was going to be a problem. So I ended up spending almost two hours there just trying to get acquainted with, with uh, Tom in front of the owners. And we made a lot of progress. And he's actually been fine all day yesterday and today until I was just trying to get him out of the car uh, earlier. And he just snapped on me. And uh, uh, as I was holding him to get him out of the car, he started trying to bite my hands while peeing on me, his brother Ollie, and the car. So it was a it was a bit of a mess. It was not a very good situation, and uh, you know, not something I thought I would be sharing in a, a day in the life on the the road with dogs type of video. But um, this is real life. This is a real risk that we pet sitters take, and this is uh, I think it's important to show that not all of these gigs are necessarily. Uh, all sunshine and rainbows, you know, uh, we are working with animals, there are risks, and um, this is real life, you know. Uh, I think on social media it's easy to make everything look um, just all wonderful. Look at me, I'm taking a road trip across the country with dogs and getting paid to do it. How amazing! Um, and it is a very amazing opportunity, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. However, uh, you know, this this is not fun, you know, and it's, it's just part of what we do sometimes. I know people are going to ask how I addressed uh, this situation with the client. Um, and uh, so after this happened today, I made it clear to her yesterday that uh, this was not really uh, what I expected. And then after this happened today, I did message her and I said, you know, this is uh, the behavior the dogs are showing is not what was described to me uh, prior to me accepting this gig. And because of that, I am going to have to increase my daily rate. Um, and she was very nice about it. She was very apologetic. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm just hoping for the best for the rest of the trip. Uh, and I upped my daily rate as a, as hazard pay, e essentially. And uh, on, on the subject of how I uh, price gigs like this, I have a set daily rate for any of my traveling gigs or pet transportation gigs. It's a, uh, a pretty high rate. It's, it's a high enough rate for me to make doing a gig like this worth it but low enough that it still makes sense for a lot of clients. And then on top of that daily rate, I ask for reimbursement for any and all of my travel expenses. So on this trip, just for example, that's my flight from Oregon, to, or from Florida to Oregon, use of their car to get from Oregon to Virginia, plus all hotels and fuel, and then a flight home to Florida from Virginia after I deliver the dogs. Um, each situation is a little bit different. Um, some clients do a meal, meal reimbursement plan, some do a rental car instead of their car. Um, and a lot of clients are able actually to use like their own airline points or credit card points and stuff to cover a lot of the uh, transportation expenses outside of my daily rate. So um, you just have to think creatively on your side as a pet sitter and then get your clients to think creatively also.
All right, so it's about 10.30 at night and we just got settled into a, a Comfort Inn in Rollins, Wyoming. Um, we drove here from Pendleton, Oregon this morning, which was about uh, 12 hours of driving, really about a 15 hour day, once you account for all of the stops that we uh, made along the way. And that's what these nationwide uh, pet transport gigs are like. They are long days on the road. Uh, lots of audio books, lots of podcasts. Um, we stop usually every two or three hours for a potty break and to stretch our legs. And I always make sure that the dogs get their breakfast and their dinner at the normal time that they would at home. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's long days uh, in the car on the road. And uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to make it to probably about the Kansas City area. And uh, the goal is to have these dogs delivered to their new home in Virginia by the end of the day on Sunday. Um, there's a lot of different things I could talk about with these gigs like this. Um, if you wanna know how I get clients like this, go and watch the video that I posted last week. I'll put a, a link to that in the description below. Uh, that's I talked about how I get uh, traveling pet sitting gigs. Uh, and I was in Germany when I made that video last week. So I was talking about the traveling gigs, but the pet transport gigs, you know, I get them the exact same way. Um, if you want me to make more in-depth videos about uh, tips for being on the road with your dog, uh, things to take with you, good places to stop, um, questions to ask your clients, Anything at all, just let me know in the comments below and I can make videos about that kind of stuff. But I hope this has been a good insight about um, what these gigs are really like. Um, I love doing these gigs, you know. A lot of people hate driving or they wouldn't wanna do stuff like this, be away from home this long. But, um, you know, I, I don't have kids, I'm not married, uh, so it's nothing for me to be away from home. And um, driving is like a meditation to me. I love to drive. So uh, I love gigs like these. Um, if you have any clients that need nationwide pet transportation and you don't want to offer that yourself, send them my way. Tell them uh, to sign up on the Bad to the Bone Pet Care website and I'll get them taken care of. I'm Doug the Dog Guy from Bad to the Bone Pet Care reminding you to stay positive.